All right, good morning, Cadre. It's uh, Tuesday, October 30th. I'm coming at you with another shave. Um, things are starting to slow down a little bit for a short period of time now that football season, at least at the high school level, is officially over. Um, assignments went out yesterday for the semifinals and stuff, and I did not get a game. Um, as it was expected, it was my first full year of a varsity schedule. I got a quarterfinal game. So, you know, I got the experience that I was looking for. Um, next year, I'm gunning for it. Um, so, I did, however, agree this Saturday to do Little League Championship Games. So, I'm going to do that. But anyways, what I've got for you today, the point of today's shave, still got to get to work. Um, but the point of today's shave is I... I pulled out some soaps as I finished up Raids of October and Deba October that I haven't used in a while. And I've been making this list in the back of my head. And it was kind of interesting because I've had this soap maker in the back on my list, so to speak, that I wanted to revisit because I've owned this soap for over a year. I've owned this soap for a while. I want to make that clear. And then I saw him join our website. So I was like, okay, I'm definitely going to use it now because it's been a while since I've used it. And I have no good excuse as to why. All of my uh, recollection of this soap is that it was a good soap. So what I'm going to use today is Uncle John's, let that focus a little bit, Gravity. Um, he, now, he, he's going to have to correct me if I'm wrong, um, but from my recollection of when I used this soap, when I bought it over a year ago, he had... Um, I'm going to start getting the bloom water set on my face. He had two um, formulas, uh, tallow and then a vegan. However, most of his soaps do come in the vegan. It seemed at the time that tallow was more of like when he would do a special release or something to that effect. I could be wrong, so don't take my word for it. Just know that for sure, if you look hard enough, and I don't know about the website, I haven't. I looked a little bit yesterday, but not much. But if you do, you know, at least know that I believe that there are two different formulas. So, what I like and appreciate already right off the bat about Uncle John's, and we've talked about this a little bit, and it's funny because I've had some, I had some other conversations about this recently with other people. Myself, I've got over 400 soaps in the den. Well, over 200 soaps in the den, close to 400 with duplicates. So let me uh, start building a ladder real quick and we'll talk at the same time. I'm using the TSC Legacy, not Legacy, member brush. But we talk, I've been talking to people about, do I, you know, what is some of my reservations from buying soap right now? I don't really have any. I mean, I had a mail call yesterday. I've got one, another one coming later this week um, with more soaps. But I don't buy a lot of um, larger tubs on the whim anymore. If soap makers would offer smaller tubs, more smaller tubs, I would be more likely to buy more soaps. Because I don't... I've learned that I can lather in them. It's messy, but I can lather in them still. Or I've just started adopting the scoop method and putting some of my captain's choice bowl. Not always ideal, but something's got to give, so to speak. The scent on this is amazing. We're going to talk about that in a second. But first, I want to let you guys know the ingredients in this soap. And this is Uncle John's. Let's be realistic here. I want to make that clear. It's not Dr. John's, which is another soap maker. So Uncle John's, which you can go to UncleJohnsSoap.com. The ingredients are coconut oil, tallow, castor oil, stearic acid, glycerin, and fragrance. So what I remember of this soap when I used it, is it's very similar to the soap that I used um, on Sunday, the Holy Black. It's a good soap. It's slick. Um, post shave feel could be a little bit better. And when I looked at my notes, because I keep an Excel spreadsheet, 
in my notes, what I wrote over a year ago was, is, is that, so let's see if things change, a very good quality soap that is similar to WSP's um, non-tallow formula. Can't remember what they call it. Rustic. Similar to their rustic line. So if the WSP Rustic line is good for you, you've got to check out this soap company because they have a lot more scents. And they're scented pretty strongly. Off the tub, I'd put it at about a 3 out of 5. When lathering, it bumps up and you smell a little bit more of the mandarin and the cardamom. That's in it. And I'd bump it up to about a three and a half. So we'll talk about the scents in a second once we start shaving. I started something new to make things a little bit easier for me. Um, use a dry erase marker. I cheat. I write notes on my mirror. <laughs> so, um, anyways, I am continuing for October. And I, this is my new favorite open comb. Not going to lie. It's the Razor Rock SLOC. I know Dave in Kentucky mentioned that, you know, it's not, wasn't quite aggressive enough for him. You know, I get it. Um, I'm getting excellent shaves with it. I would recommend it still. Um, I think you might just need to find the right blade pairing. So anyways, this does have a Persona blade in it for its second use. So according to my notes, just so you guys know for the scent notes on this, for gravity is, the main note is crisp alpine air. So... When I see notes like that, it always makes me nervous because I am not a fan of pine. Like pine or those pine tars. I do like cedar. I will do cedar, but if it's pine, ugh, or wintergreen really, not a fan. I tend to stay away from those. So it's Chris Al Alpine Air doesn't smell like pine, let's make that very clear. It smells, honestly, this reminds me of when you wake up at the top of the mountain, that scent, and it's the first thing in the morning. It's a wonderful smell. It has mandarin in it, cardamom, vetiver, suede, whatever that's supposed to smell like, vanilla, and teak wood. Those are the scent notes that he lists on his website. That is what I did go onto his website for yesterday. I wanted to make sure I had the scent notes correct when I was talking about it. Because I wouldn't have remembered all of those. As you can see, the lather is really good. It is plenty slick. Residual slickness is there, but not quite as high as some other soaps that we use a lot. But I'll be honest with you, and I, I don't want to speak wrongly here, but I would argue that Uncle John's soap is one of those budget-friendly soaps. It's a fantastic soap. You're going to get an excellent shave out of it, and it's going to hit all the notes for you. And to be honest with you, it's a, it's a step above Razor Rock, you know, that I use for the whole month again. You know, so kind of like... Um, I like it. I'm going to hit pause you real quickly here, rinse up, and get ready for pass two. So, get ready for pass two here. Go back to the brush. It's a little touch more of water. There we go. I, you know, I think this soap... If I remember correctly what I rated it as, I rated it at the top of tier two. Um, so you can find my shaving scale on the shavingcadre.com. I break them out into tiers and then boxes. I can't remember what box I put this in, but um, I think it was box five. 
which is right in line with WSP's Rustic, right? This is one of those soaps where you can buy it in a scent that you're going to enjoy and you don't have to worry about not getting a good lather. In my opinion, there's no risk here. You're going to get an excellent product. You're going to get good customer service from what I remember. And it's going to be a good shave. And then if you want, if, you know, that is interesting, if that interests you, he sells other products too. So he's got like aftershaves, which I've, um, I've got for matching this. I really enjoy the aftershave too. The aftershave game, in my opinion, ups the ante a little bit. Um, he's got beard products, which obviously I don't use. I don't know if he makes a mustache wax. That might have been a good one to try when I had the mustache and the goatee going. Um, I don't know. I'd have to look. But I know some of you carry sport mustaches, so if you use a mustache wax to keep everything in line, you might want to look into that. I think he has bath soaps too and everything. Prices are good. I don't remember what I paid for it, but what I do know when I looked at the website yesterday, for this smaller tub it's nine dollars. And then you can still get the bigger tub if you want. I can't remember what the price is on the bigger tub. I only looked at the smaller tubs, and to be honest with you, the reason is it's because I wouldn't buy a bigger tub. I like the smaller tubs myself. Now, if somebody can make a low profile, you know, tub that's three or four ounces, that's wide, but then they press their two ounces of soap in there, sign me right up. Sorry, those fall seasonal allergies really get me. I had to sneeze again. Okay. All right, let's see where we're at. Ooh, yeah. I will be honest with you, though. I know I talked kind of low about the post shave feel on the uh, Holy Black and I kind of mentioned it a little bit at the beginning of this soap. I just want to go back and just say it's not bad but when you get accustomed to soap makers that are putting in all those uh, butters you get familiar with it. But I remember saying a few months back Post-shave feel is not the most important factor to me. I'll say it again. Post-shave feel is not the most important factor to me. So we're going to do a little bit of cleanup here. I have breaking out again. And it's not because of the soaps that I've been using or anything like that. It's just the season. It always happens this time of year. My skin starts to break out as we get ready for the real change here in Utah. I mean, it was 72 degrees on Sunday. Yesterday it was 68, and today the high is supposed to be 45. So it just wreaks havoc on my skin. All right, so that's the shave overall. I'm still, I'm still gonna say it's in that tier two realm. It's a good quality soap. I would recommend it. I would recommend that you go it and find out a good scent that would be good for you. Um, this is one of those ones that, in my opinion, it's budget friendly. Good to have around the den. Um, so I'm gonna pause you real quickly. I'll be right back. I'm gonna rinse, um, and then I'll apply my witch hazel, and then we'll come back and talk about the aftershave. Um, I'm not doing anything crazy with the witch hazel, just using my normal Humphreys. So I'll be right back. 
back. So I got my uh, gear cleaned up. Well, except for the razor. So one second here. Um, soap is set out to dry for the day. I'll put that away when I get home. Um, brush cleaned out. Witch hazel applied to the face. And I would say I am I missed one tiny spot back here. Missed it. So I'd call myself BBS minus. Because um, everywhere else is smooth as can be. So the witch hazel was applied. I liked it. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the aftershave. I do recommend that you shake them when you use them because I can see the oils kind of in there. Um, not necessarily separated, but you can just see like floating around. Um, this is really good stuff in my opinion. I'll tell you what's in it. I wrote it down right here on my mirror. It's got witch hazel, glycerin, aloe, polysorbate. I think it had the number 80 after it. I didn't write that number down. Um, I think that's just something that helps keep it together. And then um, the fragrance. It's good stuff, you know. Good quality stuff. And I can't remember the price on this. I didn't look at the price. I just looked at what the formula was. But I remember they were reasonably priced. And what's nice is, is that you get two ounces here also. So what does that mean? You can go buy a good quality set of soap, two ounces, aftershave, two ounces, travel with them. I, I've, I know I've traveled with this set specifically because um, it's not necessarily low, but it's lower. I know I took this one to New York one time on business travel. It's a great soap to do that with. So, okay. Mm. And when you put this on, the vanilla comes out a little bit more at the beginning with that crisp alpine air. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. It's good stuff. And now the crisp, um, the mandarin, is coming a little bit. A little hint of the vetiver. But right away that vanilla hits you. It's kind of nice. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going... I figured this would be a fun one to pair it with. The bergamot and amber. C.O. Bigelow. So I'll take a couple spritzes of that. But that's the shave. So um, if you guys haven't joined us yet, hit us up at www.theshavingcadre.com. We've got a lot of fun stuff going around. We keep adding more and more members. Um, we've added a new vendor. Um, so things are going well. Um, you guys are great. You know, Thank you for everything that you guys do for us. We appreciate you every single day. Um, if you have any questions for me, you can comment below or reach out at chat at theshavingcadre.com or come message me at theshavingcadre.com. Um, aside from that, if you guys, hope you guys all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you on the pages.